Hello everybody, it's Ben Dominator and today we're going to be talking about all the new leaked skins for Fortnite in the 16.30 update. Now of course before we get into the video, if you guys enjoy the content and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe because I make videos like this all the time. You can also use my supported creator code Ben Dominator in the item shop, hashtag ad, if you really want to support me. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first skin here was actually revealed yesterday. This is the crew pack for May. It's the demo skin. And I honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this one. A lot of people seem to really like it. Me personally, I feel like it kind of looks like a starter pack skin. But I can't really complain too much because the actual amount of stuff you get with this month's crew pack is actually insane. You get a bunch of stuff. You get like a pickaxe. There's two other edit styles. You get the back bling, of course, but you also get save the world, a wrap, a loading screen. And apparently every Tuesday we're going to be seeing some special bonus for crew members. So yeah, that is pretty exciting. But overall, I don't love this skin that much. Okay, so moving on to the actual leaks, we got the Gia skin, which is pretty interesting. Looks a lot like Tyranna. Uh, it looks like they use a lot of assets from Tyranna but it does look a lot more unique. I don't think I like it as much as Tyranna, but I think it is a pretty cool skin. It definitely does fit this season's vibe, and I think it's pretty all right. And after that one, we got the Scrap Knight Jewels skin, and this one looks great in my opinion. This is a really, really cool skin. Of course, it's kind of based off the Midas Rex skin with the armor and stuff, but I do really like it. But honestly, I do prefer the original Jules skin over this one. Much like the Midas Rex skin, I prefer the original Midas over the Midas Rex. But I do like the direction these have gone. But I'm still really confused as to what role they play in the storyline. But overall, this is a really, really fantastic looking skin. However, this skin actually brought a really interesting thought into my head. They seem to have been really taking Battle Pass skins recently, of course a lot more in Chapter 2, and kind of reskinning them and putting them in, into the item shop. And a lot of the reskins are actually very, very good. They go out of their way to create a bunch of unique models for them. They're not just the same skin but with a different color palette. They're actually the same skin but just with a completely different idea. And while I think that it's great that they do this and that these skins turn out really well, at this point. With all these reskins, I honestly wouldn't even care if they just started selling Battle Pass skins in the Atom Shop at this point. And I know that might be a little bit of a hot take, but in my personal opinion, a lot of these reskins look so much like the originals, even with different ideas. You're still taking the same character models, same basic ideas, especially with this Jewel skin, that if they just sold Jewels in the Atom Shop, I honestly just wouldn't even care. Because they kind of are selling jewels in the item shop. Of course, it's not the same exact jewels. In my opinion, it's a little bit worse than jewels. But it is still jewels, and it's still a very, very good skin that resembles the same kind of ideas with just a different concept on it. And honestly, I wouldn't even care if they just sold jewels in the item shop, along with Midas and Peely and all these other skins that they've taken from battle passes and that they've like made extra versions of. Like, honestly, I wouldn't even care if they sold Drift in the item shop. They made a summer version of Drift. It's pretty much Drift. I mean, of course, you're missing out on some of those later edit styles, but it's a very good version of Drift. I honestly really like that skin a lot. And if they just sold Drift in the item shop as is, I would not care. I would not care at all. And I own the Drift skin, so it's not just me being like, I hope they release them so that I can buy them. No, I have the Drift skin. I don't care if they release them. I, I honestly don't care about skin rarity whatsoever. And I don't know how many people actually still do care about skin rarity. I'm sure there's a few people out there who do. But in my personal opinion, I wouldn't even bat an eye if they sold some Battle Pass skins into the item shop because to me, it kind of feels like they're doing that already. And I honestly just don't care if a skin is exclusive or not. And I think people would still buy the Battle Pass because it's a way better deal for getting a bunch of skins than having to buy them all separately through the item shop. Because if Battle Pass skins did come back into the item shop, they would be a lot more expensive than if you actually acquired them through the Battle Pass. I know a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me on that, but honestly, that's just my honest opinion. I don't care if they release Battle Pass stuff in the item shop at this point, because they've released so many Battle Pass skins into the item shop that are just a different version of that Battle Pass skin. And I don't mind that they do that, so I wouldn't mind if they actually sold the actual thing in the shop. But yeah, rant over. I was just thinking about that, and I really wanted to get my opinion out there. And what do you guys think about that opinion? Would you guys care 
if Battle Pass skins were sold in the item shop, I'd honestly love to know. Leave a comment down below, I am very, very curious. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the last few leaked skins here. So we got the Raptorian the Brave, and this skin is really cool, it's pretty much a raptor, but in a night suit reminds me a lot of OG Season 2. And I love this, I love this medieval vibe, and we're actually getting a lot of medieval skins in this update, which is really, really interesting to me. And uh, yeah, I, I just think the skin looks really, really nice, and it's a really good play and a really good take on the raptor skin. And I honestly do think it looks a lot better than the raptor skin. To me, it's kind of like a modernized blue squire in a way. So next up, we got three skins that are being sold in a bundle. First up, we have the Pico de Galliant. And now what's interesting about this is that it's actually a Lotta reskin, not a Guaco reskin, no, it's a Lotta reskin, which I find actually really cool. And it's a knight version of Lotta. You also have the Sir Burger, which is a knight version of the Der Burger. And then my personal favorite out of the bundle, Zarya the Cruel, which is a Tomato Head knight skin. And I think these all look phenomenal. These are by far some of the best knight skins we've ever seen in Fortnite because they actually look a lot like just classic medieval knights and I really really like that. And I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and on Discord saying that maybe these are hinting for some kind of new knight season like medieval season in the next season of Fortnite. I personally don't think so. I think these are just skins. A lot of the time they just make skins because they have funny ideas for them and I think this is one of those cases where people at Epic were just like, hey. We want to make some fun night skins because why not and they just did it i don't think everything has to be connected i don't think that just because we're getting night skins means that next season's going to be all about knights maybe we'll have some little ltm or game mode related to these skins but i really don't think this is really hinting at anything at all i think this was just a fun idea that some designers at epic games had and i think all these skins turned out great but anyway guys, that's about going to do it for this video. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I make videos like this all the time. You can join my Discord server or follow me on Twitter. Both links are in the description below. And if you want to use me as your supporter creator, my code is BenDominator. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day and goodbye.